Good morning. It's good to see everyone today. Um, it's been a week, hasn't it? It's winter, it's spring, it's, I don't know, it's going to be summer next week. <laughs> but it's always Pittsburgh weather. A uh, couple announcements. Just a reminder that in the back on the table are some envelopes. The envelopes have a number on it. Um, we are doing a first mile giving fundraiser. And if you take an envelope with a number on it, you are asked to place that amount, or I think Phil said last week, or more in the envelope. Um, put your name and uh, giving number on there if you have one uh, or if you know it, and place it in the offering plate. We, at, the, at a suggestion of one of our members, thanks Linda, we broke some of the uh, numbers down into different increments, so you may want to check it out. There are some uh, amounts that may be more palatable for your budget. SPRC is meeting this Tuesday on Zoom at 6.30. So uh, if you're on SPRC, make sure you've done your homework. Other announcements? Marianne. Are, are, okay, are you calling DoorDash or are you place and let Aaron place the, the order? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. It's such a nice, it's such a nice time to gather. It really is. So, um, you know, if, if you, if you have some free time that it you are more than welcome to join us. Other announcements? Linda. Oh, this week is the last wiki Wednesday until fall. So, also while you're announcing that, let me uh, remind folks we are going to be doing the summer feeding program again. We're going to go on Mondays and Thursdays like we did last year. We will need volunteers. If you are able to help out, please see Amanda. If there are no other announcements, then let us prepare our hearts and minds. Let's praise God.
Will you please rise? And join with me as we center for worship. Love one another even when love involves risk. Love and care for others even when caring is hard. Love in truth and action. Will you please remain standing and join with me in the affirmation of faith. God is all without being anything while being the all in everything. God is the perhaps at the edge of every moment of choosing. God does nothing, but nothing does without God. God is the freedom to do and the urge to act. God does not exist because God is existence. God is change. God is flow. God is relationship. In, with, and through. God is love. Silently attracting, never compelling. God does not have power because God is power. God is the unforced force crossing through all events. God is the potential for transformation in all relationships. To be God's friend is to pay attention to the flow in all things, even those that seem to stay still. It is to savor what is behind and within all appearances, events, relations. It is to feel the allure of what could be, latent in the wonder of what is. Amen. seated. Now is the time of sharing our joys and our concerns. Phil, did you want to make an announcement? Huh? Do we hire somebody? I'm sorry, I caught you off guard on that one. Um, Chris Lochran uh, has been hired to um, be our new music director when Jacob leaves us July 11th. Yes. So uh, we, she has been a part of our church family for a while, and um, we welcome her. So. Other and other joys and concerns, Chris. What branch? One of them. There you go. Um, you said your cousin. Okay. Um, her cousin's daughter, Olivia, is being deployed to Kuwait today. So keep her and her family. That is a, a difficult uh, journey. Keep, keep them in, in our prayers. 
I saw someone else's hand. Debbie. Debbie's cousin, Rich, er, cousin's husband, Rich, is in quite serious condition in Florida. Please keep them in your prayers. Mary Ann. Oh my goodness. Um, Frenchek? Frenchek. Um, it lost their 30-year-old son unexpectedly this week. Please pray for them. Mike. Boy, Jamie's through a lot, hasn't he? We prayed for Jamie. He had heart surgery, and now his mother-in-law has passed away. So please uh, keep him in prayer. And someone at the gas station, you said? His wife passed away from COVID. Oh my goodness. Peg fell last night, so after church, Mike is going to take her for an x-ray. Let us keep Peg in prayer. Let us also pray for Sherry Anthony, who, uh, is she still in the hospital, Linda? No. Um, She was in the hospital this week and had to have some procedures done, so please continue to pray for her healing. Constance uh, went to see the doctor this week, and they have, um, if you're on the prayer chain, you know this, but they've decided to do some chemo first, and she'll be having a port installed, but um, she, the, Ron and Connie have asked that Um, While they appreciate the gesture of food, Ron is on a heart-healthy diet. It's just the two of them. And let's face it, folks, when we cook, we cook. We don't cook for two, we cook for 22. Um, And so they would prefer, because Connie's not really eating, they would prefer, you know, they appreciate that gesture, but um, cards are welcome. Phone calls are hard because... um, uh, Ron is is doing a lot, and really Constance is is kind of weak to talk on the phone. So cards are appreciated, but what they've asked us to do, I think, is a sign of that tornado of joy that I mentioned in describing Constance last week. They've asked us to do the things that they like to do, which is help other people. So they've asked us to go out and spread that joy that they're not able to do right now and to send them a card and let them know what we've done. So even if it's something small, like being in a drive-thru and paying for the person behind you or just sending a card to someone you haven't talked to in a while, let them know what you did and that will bring healing to them. Are there other joys and concerns? Let's pray. God of love, guide our thoughts and our actions that we, too, might become beacons of love. Speak to our hearts as we listen today, that our hearts may expand and embrace all of your creation. Love us fully. 
that we might love all all the people in your world as you have loved us. Bring healing to those who are in need. We rejoice in your blessings. And we thank you for the work that continues to go on. Help us to shine. As we pray the prayer that your son taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I wanted to mention, I, I, I should have done it at the top of the prayer request, um, that we recognize that there are folks at home worshiping with us. If you have something that we can pray for, a need or a joy, please share it on Facebook, and we will make sure that we put it, into, put it onto our prayer chains so we can be praying with you and for you. I apologize for not uh, doing that at the top, but just know that we recognize that you are worshiping with us. We are glad you're here.
Good morning. Today's reading is taken from 1 John 3, 16 through 24. We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay, our, lay down our lives for one another. How does God love abide in anyone who has the world's good goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses to help? Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this, we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him. Whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God and we receive from him whatever we ask because we obey his commandments and do what, he, what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we know that he abides in us by the spirit that he has given us. Let's pray. God of love, God of truth, God of action, be with us this morning. Encourage us. Ignite us. Amen. Reagan is getting ready to graduate from college. And I was thinking this morning of what that means. You see, when you get ready to graduate, and Jacob can attest to this because he's getting it at, getting asked it a lot. What, what are you going to do? What's your major? What are you going to be when you grow up? Well, I say that <laughs> um, when you grow up. But it is, it is a common question. And Reagan keeps getting asked, what are you going to do after graduation? And I remember graduating from the University of Pittsburgh. Sorry, Penn State fans, but um, the University of Pittsburgh and being asked what I'm going to be. And at the time that I was at Pitt and getting ready to graduate, I was working at WTAE. And I was also working at um, a public relations place. And I was also working at a clothing store kind of like my daughter who's working three jobs right now. In fact, today she's at the pirate game learning how to work that part of the family business. And it all seems so clear to me what I wanted to do, what I wanted to be. Do you remember graduating high school? And it was just clear. And if it wasn't clear, it was clear that you were done with school or if you were going to college, you were on to your next step. But the thing is that what seems so clear when you're 18 or 22, <laughs> you look back and you realize wasn't that clear at all. Because life has a way 
of taking you on different adventures, doesn't it? You think this is it? Here I am. I'm off to the races. And things change. Could you imagine when you were 18 or 22, where you are now. Can you imagine? Could you have thunk it? First John is a letter that is written by the author of the Gospel of John. Not all of the epistles uh, have a clear authorship. Some do. We know that Acts was written by Luke, or the author of Luke. But we, we're not, it's not clear to us who wrote Ephesians. We give Paul credit for it, but it's not really clear. But 1 John, we're clear. It has the same language and the same themes. And it is a letter to those followers of Christ. And it is letting them know what the expectation is. In that entire letter, five chapters, we learn that God is light. We learn that God is just. And we learn that God is love. Three things. And we learn that God wants us to obey the new commandment, the new covenant, the new way of doing things. You see, the way has changed. And you may be thinking, I'm in my 60s, I'm in my 70s, I'm in my 80s. Or, I'm under 20. I don't know what I am. I'm too young to think about that. The thing is, God wants you to begin with a foundation. And that foundation is love. And God wants us to be bold with it, no matter our age, no matter our direction. That everything we do, must be expressed in love. And not just words, because it's easy to say, I love you. It's easy to write on a card, love so-and-so, but it is about truth and action. And we are to be bold with that love. We're not to just use the words, but we are to live it out. So no matter where we're going, what we're doing, God knows our lives are going to take turns. My major was English writing, a very odd title. I wanted to be in broadcasting. I wanted to even be a reporter. I was going to settle for being a producer, but I, I wouldn't have minded being on camera. I did some of that. But my life took a turn. You see, God had called me from the time I was very young. Always wanted to be a pastor. Always.
But you don't have to be a pastor to put your love into action. How bold can we be with our love? I sometimes think we're not bold enough. We are afraid of what other people will say. We are afraid of judgment. We are afraid of criticism. First John reminds us that God is light. In the darkness of this world, God is light and God is just. There are things that go wrong in this world, but God is just. And most importantly, God is love. I Googled love, truth, and action for an image today. And this came up, together we create. Because imagine, imagine if we put all those pieces together, what we can do, who we can be. It doesn't matter that one of us is a chef that one of us is a musician, that one of us is a stay-at-home mom or dad, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if one of us is a teacher, doesn't matter if one of us is a custodian, doesn't matter if one of us is unemployed, doesn't matter. We are bold in the love of Christ. We will create something beautiful, something that is made from God. Amen.
Let us rise. God is light. God is just. God is love. May you be blessed today and always. Amen.